Regardless, if it's in a bottle or can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, BC Beer Review, BC Beer Review. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, BC. Glad to see you guys have made it to another episode of BC's Beer Reviews. <coughs> um, guess what we got today? We got a bunch of beer again. It's Imperium. It's premium, uh, imported premium lager beer. See that? Now, it's a 5.0 ABV. Got this at Oldies. And let's see what we got going on here. A little bit of smoke. No, it's fresh. Mm. Uh, let's see, this is what I'm working with today. See that? Yeah, you can almost see me almost clearly. Almost. In the head. See, it's disappeared. Okay. Well, very low carbonation on here. I mean, very low. It's supposed to be a product of Belgium or a Belgium style beer. Yeah. It says boasting mild hop and sweet malt char character. This premium lager starts with a Light floral aroma and ends with a crisp, smooth finish. Imported by a Purim Brewing Company, Princeton, <laughs> Minnesota, brewed and bottled by Brewery Martin's, Nevada. Yeah, okay, see, this is another one. This is the, oh, in my previous episode, I was saying, there was one beer, like four of them I reviewed that came from all these that were in Wisconsin. Well, I think this is the second one that I've done from Nevada. And they've got another one in Rochester, New York that all these goes out to. Or gets their supply beer, their supply uh, budget beer from. <coughs> so, I mean... Don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against budget beers. Nothing at all. Question is, is how do they taste? I mean, on one hand, I've had my fair share of drinking tall boys for a buck each. And sometimes they were really good. You know what I mean? And, of course, there's some, there's some that, that kind of stinkers too. So, let's see how this one is. Let's get to tasting and drinking. Cheers. It's okay, that's okay. Getting that happiness, a little bit of floor, a little bit. This one's pretty good. The best buy date is 6 26 of 2021. So, this is reasonably fresh. So, It's okay. It's okay. Getting some hop off of that. Try to look up, see what they had on here as far as like, you know, what they used and whatnot. And it's kind of been pretty much the same with most of these beers I've gotten from all these, where I'll just give you. Just enough information that there's a company exists that produces these beers, and that's about it. So, I mean, that's about as cheap, I don't know, cheap as you can get. I mean, if you want to save a few bucks, fine. And you know I me, mean? I don't mind saving a few bucks. But then again, <clears throat> like I said, I don't mind spending, saving a few bucks. 
every now and again you might have to spend a couple of bucks to get the better taste of beer. And you guys know me, I got a wide range of beers that I've done on here. So, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of all over the place. So, but let's see what this is all about. Again, this is a 5.0 APV. I mean, this is pretty clean on here as far as taste goes. You know what I mean? It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, I've heard like other people reviewing this beer. <coughs> I don't know if, what the situation was, but they were saying some of it smelled kind of skunky because of the green bottle. Now, I remember one in particular. I think it was the same type that had a green bottle. It's in one of my previous episodes. I can't remember what. But it did have kind of a slight skankiness to it, to the smell. I can't, I'm not getting, I'm not getting that off of this. So, I mean, they might have took a better care of this beer than some. Then again, I don't remember how old the uh, review was either, so... It might have been just that batch or something. I don't know. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, if it gets you drunk, hey, hey, more power to you off of a six pack. So I have to give this. You know, hold on. Smell tastes a little bit of hops, you know. Tastes a little bit more needs to be more desired. I mean, having more taste to it. I mean, it's okay for what it is. I would have to give this one a four. Yeah, a four rating. Yeah. So. <clears throat> So, yeah, uh, this is another episode, and like I've always said, hey, turn responsibly, don't do nothing stupid, peace out brother man, peace out sister girl, and I'll see you next time on the next BC's Beer Reviews.